Hi everyone, Andy Trice back again, and I've been spending a lot of time in Photoshop lately. Whether it's been my aerial panoramas, or it's been ground-based imaging, or just stitching together a, a bunch of different images and putting together and creating a composition in Photoshop, uh, you, you know, it's really awesome to create very large, very high-resolution uh, images. Now. When you're trying to view this content on the web, it can be a little bit difficult. You can export it as a JPEG, but they can end up as you know a really massive JPEG. And if you're trying to view it on a mobile device, especially, it can be kind of a problematic scenario. One of the things that Photoshop has built into it is an export feature called Zoomify. And Zoomify basically takes a big image, chops it up into smaller images, and then also scales it down, chops it up again, and creates a progressive viewing experience. So whatever the viewport is, whether you're, you're on a screen this big or a screen this big, it's going to initially zoom the image in so that you can see the full image of that resolution, and then you can drill into it so you, you zoom in, and it will progressively load more detail for each uh, part of the viewport that, you, that you're currently trying to view. Now, this is awesome for progressively viewing something. You can view it faster, and uh, you know it doesn't have to download the entire full resolution image in order to be viewable um, you know, on a particular device. So let's go ahead and jump over to Photoshop. What I've got here is an aerial panorama that I've put together. This is, was based upon, I think, four or five different images that were captured with a quadcopter and a GoPro camera. And I just flew it over the area and captured the images, stitched them together in Photoshop, did some retouching. You can actually see that you know, it was actually a color composition. But I've done some retouching, done some wide angle correction. And what I want to do is export this to the progressive enhanced HTML viewer for Zoomify. So I go to File, go to Export, and go to Zoomify. And you can see here I've got the Zoomify template. Zoomify leaflet HTML. This is the template that I put together that will automate the task of exporting this. So I no longer have to manually change things. I just export it and it'll work. And then um, select output location. So in this case, I've already got a folder called Aerial Panorama. We'll check that. Base name, we'll leave it as Pemberton Park 4. And it, you can set the image quality. So if you want to load faster, you know, you can change the quality. But I want to keep the quality very high. And then the browser options, you can just ignore those because the leaflet template that I put together ignores the fixed width and height. It takes 100% width and 100% height of the HTML. So if you want to include this inside of another web page, you can just use an iframe. And then when you're ready, just hit OK. This will go ahead and chop up the large image and break it into the individual tiles. And it'll launch in the browser. So now I'm in the Chrome browser, and I can zoom in, I can pan, and you, know, you can see the progressive experience. So when I am panning from left to right or right to left, you'll notice that the images load as square tiles progressively, so it doesn't load all the detail until it actually needs it. Now let's take a look at a couple other ones that I have here. Um, let's do this one. This is actually a 140 megapixel image that I stitched together. It was from 48 10 megapixel images that were stitched together. Now it's not a perfect stitching. I definitely have you know some in images that were blurry. I've got some warp perspective from the stitching. I've got uh, some seams. And it's not perfect, but I just want to give you an idea of how far you can zoom in on some of these images. So I mentioned this is 140 megapixel, which is quite large, to the point that I can zoom in and I can actually read the emblem on the side of the car here, or excuse me, the side of the truck. And I can see individual bricks. And I can zoom back out to see the full picture. So it's actually a very, very high resolution image. I'm able to view it on the web because it's a progressive enhancement type of scenario. Now let's go ahead and check out the same thing. Uh, this is actually running on an iPhone 5. So again, I can pan around the image if I want to, and I can zoom in. It's, it already has inertial scrolling and also the gestural interaction, so I can uh, pinch to zoom out and do a reverse pinch to zoom back in. And you can see that it will progressively load more detail as it's necessary. So I can see the individual bricks in the building. I can read the street signs if I can find one here. And it loads very quickly on a mobile device. So this is uh, iPhone 5, not 5S. And um, I think I am connected to Wi-Fi, but it would still load very quickly if I was just on a regular 
um, you know, 3G or 4G connection. So how do you put this into Photoshop? Go ahead and grab the files from the GitHub repository. There's four files that are important. It's the l.towlayer.zoomify.js. There's the Zoomify leaflet HTML.zvt. That's actually the Zoomify template. There's a leaflet.css and leaflet.js file. So you want to copy all four of those, and then you want to go ahead to Applications, go into Photoshop CC, go into Presets, and then go into Zoomify, and just put those into this directory. And once you put them in that directory, go ahead and restart Photoshop, and then they will be ready for you to use. And it's as simple as that. Then you can just file, export, Zoomify, and then you have it in the browser.